This video is a demonstration of how you can quick sketch quadratic equations. Okay, so let's, I'll give you a demonstration here as an example. Okay, the first thing you have to do with any kind of quadratic equation, uh, at least in the method I'm going to show you, is to get it in standard form. Remember that standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero because we're going to solve for where the quadratic equation crosses the x-axis where y is equal to zero. Now in order to do this particular example we're going to identify what the a is. The a is the number in front of the x squared, in this case it's one. The b is the number in front of the x. That's equal to five and the c is just the number or the constant. So we have our a is one, b as five, and c as four. Okay, now from the A, the B, and the C, we can get a lot of information, all right? You can actually get what the vertex of your parabola is. And remember, you're always going to produce a parabola in a quadratic equation when you're actually graphing it. Now, how do you find the vertex? Remember that the vertex is just the tip of your parabola, okay? So it's going to be some kind of a point, some type of an x, y. The way you find that is you just go negative b over 2a, that'll be your x value, and your y will be 4ac minus b squared over 4a. Now all we need to do is plug in the a and the b and the c into the correct spots and we'll be able to calculate what our vertex is. Alright, so let's give that a shot. If that's my first step, my second step is this, negative 5 over 2 times 1. And that's going to give me negative 5 over 2 as my vertex. Okay, and I can leave it as a fraction. Let's see what my y value is going to be. My y value is going to be 4 times 1 times 4 minus b squared, which is going to be 5 squared. And that's going to be all over 4 times 1. That's going to be 16 minus 25 over 4, or that's going to be negative 9 over 4. Let me just bring that down. And that's going to be my vertex. Negative 5 over 2, negative 9 over 4. Okay? Now I deliberately chose numbers that weren't going to work out really nice and even, because I wanted you to see there's lots of possibilities with this. All right? Okay, so that's my vertex. <coughs> if I were to do my little quick sketching now, let's just see what I've got. Okay, it looks like I've got a negative about two and a half, so I'm just going to go down to here, and a negative nine fourths, which is about a two and a fourth. So I'm just going to do that point there, and I'm just going to label it as negative five halves, negative nine fourths. Okay. Okay. What's the next thing I need to do? Well, I probably want to figure out what, what my y-intercept is, and that's where it's going to cross the y-axis. All right. So let's go ahead and label what we're doing. Remember, it's important to stay organized. My y-intercept, if you remember during class, is just the c-value. And if the c-value is 4, that means that my point will be 0, 4. So I'm just going to go right about there and pretend that's a 0, 4. Now look what that does for my parabola. I also know the direction of my parabola. I can actually write that in real quickly by just looking at the a value. If the a is positive, in which this case it is, remember my parabola goes up. If my a is negative, it would go down, it would open downward. So a is a positive, means it's gonna open upward like that. So let's go ahead and just sketch it. Remember, we don't have to be precise just as long as we are graphing a quick graph and as long as we label the points. Okay? So, so far I've got where my axis is crossing, or the vertex, I've got where it's crossing the y axis. Now I want to get where it crosses the x axis. Those are the four points I need for a quick sketch. Now I'm going to notice that both of the x values are going to be negative. Okay? Let's see how I can actually solve that. The way you solve for the x intercepts. Just rewrite the equation again. The 
is the first method is to actually see if you can factor your trinomial. And can I factor this one? Absolutely. I see that I can go x plus 4 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. That means in order for this to be true that my x can equal negative 4 or x can equal a negative 1. Does that look familiar? Here they are right here. x can equal negative 1 or x can equal negative 4. And that actually makes sense in this quick sketching that I've done of my parabola. Okay, so remember again, you need to find where the vertex is, and you can do that by the formula, negative b squared, uh, excuse me, negative b over 2a, comma, 4ac minus b squared over 4a. You can find where the y-intercept is, and that's just by looking at the c value. You can find where the x-intercepts are if you can factor your equation. And for this particular assignment that I just gave you, that's all you have to do is just see if you can factor. Okay, good luck with this. I hope it helped.